Edius is famous for supporting almost any video format natively in its original codec and in real time. You can mix and match as much as you like and you don't need to waste time with intermediate codecs. And this is true for 4K media as much as it is for any other files that you might want to use. All you need to decide on is your project settings. So if I go to File, uh, New, Project, and uh, yeah, I might as well save this project. I can specify using a preset if I want, or if I just say customize and click OK, you can see there are a couple of really simple options you need to choose. First of all, right now I've got a 1920 by 1080 preset. And if I scroll up a little bit, you can see I've got a 4K option here. In fact, I can just go down and change the frame size here if I want. But when I do that, notice that the setup gives me a warning because the Grass Valley HQ standard codec doesn't support 4K, but HQX does. So be sure to change your renderer if you are going to render any effects to make sure that you're using an option that will work. I'm not going to use overscan, so I'll pull that down and click OK and I'm ready to go. I've got a project and I can bring some media in. I've got a, a red clip available here, so I'm going to double click in my asset bin and pull in this R3D file. And if I get the properties for this, you can see it's uh, got a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. It's just off square pixels. It's 25 frames per second. OK. And I'm going to click open Let's get rid of that and pull it into my timeline. And there we go, I've got a 4K project. In terms of using EDIUS, nothing really changes. You're just working at a different resolution. But it does get a little bit interesting. If I just save this project, Control S, and go back to my previous 4K workflow one, just so you can see, because that's already got a clip inside of it, which is HD rather than 4K. If I go to my settings menu and go to project settings, and back into change current setting. Well, if I drop my frame size down to 1920 by 1080 and click OK, you can see I'm getting some thin letterboxing at the top and bottom. And that's because 4K media isn't exactly precisely the same aspect ratio image as a regular 16 by 9 HD is. If I take this HD clip and drop it into my timeline, you can see it's a perfect match. Another thing worth noting is that, interestingly, now we're working on an HD resolution project, but our 4K media has been automatically scaled by the layouter to fit our new frame size. If I select the clip and go into the layouter, you'll notice, if I just scroll down a bit, under the stretch control, we're at 46.9% on the X and Y axis. Now, if I toggle the project back again, project settings, change current settings, advanced, frame size, 4K, click OK. If I now go back into the layouter, you see this is automatically updated to give us 100%. This is a really nice feature because it means that things just tend to work. They tend to play back OK. But it does mean if you want to pan and scan around inside your media, you might want to go back in and change it first. So there's a simple way of doing this with a shortcut. If I go back into my project settings, change settings, Frame size, 1920 by 1080, OK. And now I'm going to go back into the layouter and I'm going to just click, double click in fact, and I'm going to type in 100% for the stretch. And I'll just show you how much bigger that is. If I zoom out and uh, I'll just click OK, you can see that's now filling my screen a little bit more. Here's my original HD media. Now that I've got my layouter set the way I want it, in the effect panel, I can create my own preset. So under my effects, I've created a folder here, which you can do by right clicking and choosing create new folder. And I'm just going to drag the layouter into the folder. In fact, I've already got one there, look 100%. And I'll just call this one full res. Okay, so now if I'm ever working with any media of this kind, I can if I just go back in and you can see just how big this is. If I zoom out, this is the frame of my 4K media and this is my visible part of that frame at 100%. So if I drop this down or for whatever reason it gets scaled and click OK, I can always just drag this replacement layouter onto the information palette and it'll replace the existing one. 
Remember with EDIUS you can only ever have one instance of the layouter on a clip, so you can just replace with whatever presets you have. Coincidentally, if you are scaling your media down, let's just pull this down a bit so you can see, you do have the option in EDIUS to specify how it's going to apply resampling. So here inside the layouter, I've got a resampling method and I can specify either the project setting, which I'll show you in a moment, or any one of these high quality options. Now by default, EDIUS will go for high performance real-time playback. It's not the smoothest form of scaling up or down, but it certainly gives you great playback performance. And you can work in that mode as long as you like, and then before you output, you can change it for the entire project or you can change it clip by clip. If I go back into my project settings and go into change current setting, you can see my resampling method here applies to the entire project. Coincidentally as well, if I set this back up to a 4K project and then put this 1920 by 1080 HD clip over the top, let me just go into overwrite mode here. You can see initially it looks like these images are the same size, but they're not. If I go into my layouter, you can see that this 1920 by 1080 clip has been automatically stretched to 200% to have it fit the new frame size. If I set this back to 100% and click OK, you can see just how much smaller a 1920 by 1080 clip is against a 4K timeline. Now historically, it might have been suggested that if you were working with 4K original media, you might want to convert your clips to something like Canopus HQ or HQX uh, in the bin before you work with it. And you can do that by right clicking on items in the bin or multiple items and choosing convert, file, give it a name, choose the type you want, online or offline quality. The options are pretty straightforward. And then you're no longer working with your original media. But I think it's really cool working with your original codex. It's the highest quality it can be. In this case, we're working with an R3D file straight from a RED camera. EDIUS is a 64-bit application, which means it'll use all of the available memory on your machine. And so if you are working with this very, very high-resolution media with the multi-threaded CPU support and all of that memory and fast drives, you should be able to work natively in 4K all the way through your workflow. So that's a 4K workflow overview with EDIUS.